Hey, hey you guys, welcome back to Zindi. I just wanted to do that video that I was telling you about on how to use the kiss cuts, okay? So if you don't know what the kiss cuts are, these are the um, uh, vinyl decals that are made to fit our acrylic blanks, okay? Each kiss cut has two options. It has a white gloss option and a clear gloss option. The difference is the actual material that it's printed on, okay? So this one, for instance, is clear. Um, as you can see, the edging is clear. There's no white border or anything like that. Um, this is a white one, I think. Nope, that one's a clear one too. Here's the white one. Um, you can see how this one has the white border around it. So that's the difference of the two. Also, whenever you order the clear one, anywhere you see white, it'll be see-through. Um, so if you want to apply glitter or anything to the back of your acrylic and it show through, you're going to want to go with the clear um, decal. If you want nothing to show through and you want it to look exactly like this, then you will go with the uh, white gloss, okay? So that's the difference. Let me show you the backing. Okay, so this is the backing of the clear. Um, Again, of our, all of our Kiss Cuts, the clear ones have white ink back on the back, so that means you can apply it to any color surface and the colors stay bright and vibrant. It doesn't have to just be against white or light colored surfaces, okay? So this is what the back of the um, white gloss adhesive looks like. This is the back of the clear gloss adhesive, okay? And again, here's the front. This is a white one. This is on the white material. This is on the clear material, okay? So, let me show you how easy it is to actually apply these decals to the acrylics. Let's go ahead and do maybe this notebook paper. Okay, so first thing I recommend doing is weeding out the extra, okay? Get that out of the way, that way it's not in the way for you or anything like that. All right, then you're gonna get your transfer tape. It's much easier to apply with transfer tape than it is to peel and stick. Obviously you can peel and stick if you want, but if you wanna avoid, avoid uh, bubbles, you'll have a much better outcome whenever you use the transfer tape. Okay, so you have your decal. We're gonna take our transfer tape, put a little bend in it, let that bend hit the decal first and roll it down, okay? Take your squeegee and we're just gonna burnish from the center out to make sure it's all on there. We're gonna take this, and before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and take our backing paper off of our acrylic so no dust or anything gets on the sticky side of the decal while we're doing this. Okay, we're gonna just move, remove the backing paper. Again, when you're working with acrylics, you wanna try not to touch the acrylic if you can help it, okay? Just because oils from your hands, anything like that, um, will make it not stick as well or create bubbles. And so now I'm just rolling the backing paper off and we're going to apply this straight on our acrylic. The best way to do that is to look straight down at it so you can line it up properly. Apply, take your squeegee. We're just gonna burnish it well, get any bubbles out, and then take our transfer tape and we're just gonna roll this down like that. Um, doing it like this rather than lifting it straight up just helps also to get way less bubbles in your image. And actually this one, I think we did really good. Okay, so here is our decal on our acrylic and we do have a hole in this one so you're going to just take your bead reamer put it through and um get that let's see if i have that right here i do okay so you're going to take our bead reamer we're just going to poke through this decal and twist that basically what i'm doing is just sanding off the extra with this bead reamer This is the best way to get just a nice, clean look. All right, so we have our decal on, and this essentially could be finished the way this is. So what you could do is leave it just like this. You could add a name straight on the decal, so um, like a teacher's name. You can add a grade. Um, you can add resin to this. You can put glitter on the back. You can leave it clear. You can put a solid colored vinyl on the back, but that's how easy it is with the Kiss Cut decals. 
So again, you don't have to do anything further. You don't have to seal this. You don't have to do anything else unless you want to. Um, in addition to this, okay, so our kiss cuts are identical to our cut files, okay? So let's say, for instance, I love this kiss cut because it saves me so much time, but I really would love this apple to be pink. What I can do is I can open this cut file, which you'll get whenever you purchase the acrylic blank, and I can cut just this apple part in a pink vinyl, and then I can apply that directly on this kiss cut. It'll match perfectly. Um, because it is one for one and then it gives you some further ways to really customize the kiss cuts um, however you would like so if you want to change the apple color or if you want to make this eraser um, glittery or if you just want to use some chrome vinyl on this part it gives you a lot of options to save you a bunch of time but still be able to customize it so the fact that these are one for one with our kiss cuts makes a world of difference um, because you can change any part of it that you'd like while also saving you a ton of time making it completely unique um, and again these are all permanent waterproof vinyl so you you don't have to do anything special this can last a long long time just like this so i hope that helps you guys let me show you really quick though let me show you um this mental health one this is a good one where you can see the difference between the white gloss and the i mean the, yeah the white gloss vinyl and the clear gloss so this is the mental health uh, brain bouquet this one's on white okay you see how uh, bright that mental health is right there this is the same one but this one is on clear. Okay, so this is how different it is. You see how that part behind the words is completely clear. So if you want it to have glitter on the back and you want it to show through, the clear option would be an amazing option because then you could put whatever color glitter you want behind it, whatever color vinyl you want behind it and apply this on top and see that um, see that glitter through. If you want it to keep it white, then of course you could go with the white gloss and you can leave it just like that and be good to go. So hopefully that kind of answers some questions about that too. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can um, or as best to my ability as I can. Uh, but we're always welcome. You're always welcome to ask questions and we'll do what we can again Our website is www.zindi.com. We also have a chat box on there if you have any questions you can ask it there as well um, But that is it you guys super easy. Um, I will see y'all next time. Bye